I really thought I had made a video about this piece and one other one several years ago on the channel, but I can't seem to find it at this point. <laughs> it's my own channel, and I'm not sure where it is. Uh, I think maybe the situation was I mentioned these uh, as part of another video, but not as a video on their own. Uh, in any case, I don't really expect people watching this to necessarily have seen those or be familiar with that uh, video, so I'm just going to tackle this as if it was something new, uh, because I have found several new pieces that uh, go along with this same uh, collection, so I thought it would be interesting to talk about again. Now, what you see in front of you here is the Jabba's Palace uh, statue, I guess you'd say, from the Galactic Village collection. Uh, it's part of the Hawthorne Village uh, collection. I don't know. There are a lot of collections involved here. I, <laughs> I don't entirely know how to explain it. They're all under the uh, umbrella of the uh, Bradford Exchange, which you may be familiar with. They have a lot of, I, I'd say, kind of mass market collectibles. Uh, not not super expensive collectibles, but they tend to have um, subscription based sales. You know, they tend to want you to sign up for a subscription and then uh, just have them mail you some mysterious thing every a couple months, something like that. Now, you know, you can send them back usually if you don't like them or whatever, but uh, it, it's a subscription model that I don't really agree with. I think it's kind of sleazy in a way because uh, they're counting on people, essentially, I think, to sign up and then, you know, not want to go to the trouble of canceling or, or of sending things back. And so you may get a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily want. And if you particularly want a, you know, a particular piece, it's going to be very difficult to get that one, which is why I never signed up for it uh, for this collection myself. I wanted, I heard about, this has been years ago now, but I heard about the Jabba's Palace one and I wanted it, but I knew that if I signed up, I might be, you know, waiting around months before I finally got around to send me this uh, specific piece. So I got it on eBay eventually. And, you know, nine times out of ten, you're actually going to be paying uh, considerably less, I think, getting it on the secondary market anyway. So it's definitely uh, it's definitely worth doing, I think. So anyway, uh, just to give you a quick introduction, as I say, this is the Javos Palace piece. All of the pieces that I'm going to show you today are kind of like, oh, environments, I guess you'd say. Uh, many of them are buildings or parts of buildings or, you know, a vehicle. They have uh, several, well, several is putting it mildly, they have several dozen uh, in their Star Wars collection, the Galactic Village collection. And, you know, if you really wanted to collect them all, you could have just a, a quite a collection just of those pieces. I uh, decided to limit myself just to the Jabba's Palace related ones, as you might expect. But, uh, yeah, very... Uh, surprisingly extensive selection there. So uh, just to give you a quick little view of this, it comes with, in addition to the main Jabba's Palace piece, it comes with Jabba himself on a throne. It's not an amazing sculpt or paintwork or anything, but it's not terrible, honestly. Uh, it looks fairly decent, and it's kind of cool that you get him as a separate piece. Instead of being in scale, of course, with the palace, which would be absolutely tiny, they have made him be separate on his own, and I, I appreciate that. Uh, Jabba's Palace itself is, I don't know, I think they're made of some kind of resin, or some, maybe resin combined with plastic. They feel quite lightweight, but not bad quality, actually. Uh, the paintwork is sort of mediocre oftentimes, but this is not terrible, although you can see, you know, there's like brushwork here on the top. Uh, but, you know, from a distance, and that is going to be a key word for this collection, from a distance, they look actually pretty good. And, you know, having Jabba's Palace just like in the background of a Jabba's display, Jabba, Jabba's Palace display, I think is really cool. And I have used this in that way for a number of years. Um, all of these have a light-up display or a light-up function of some kind. Uh, you can run them off of batteries here, or you can even get a separate AC adapter if you want to have them all plugged in, like at all times. That That is a possibility. Uh, let's see, this one, I guess, yeah, it has an on and off switch here. Some of them have them elsewhere. Uh, for the most part, I have not been impressed with the LED light-up features on these pieces. I'm going to show you in a second what I mean. But, you know, I guess it's better than nothing. Um, yeah, these take two AA batteries, so let's go ahead and pop those in. 
I would uh, strongly caution you not to leave the batteries in there though for over the long haul because if they leak it will uh, potentially destroy the electronics inside. Alright, I've turned off my lights here just to give you a better chance of actually seeing this uh, light up feature. I'm going to turn it on here, see if you can tell where it comes on at. It's kind of subtle, we'll do it again. Yeah, there are lights under the door here and in this sort of palace area and also, well, I mean the light is inside this hollow bit, bit here and so, you know, there's like a, a, uh, an area here that it shines through and one that it shines through here, I guess, but uh, that's it. Not really that impressive and honestly, if you had normal lights on in the room, I think you'd be hard pressed to actually tell that they're on. So I wouldn't really uh, go out of my way to use the light up feature on this one. Now there's one other one that I uh, have had for quite some time and I'd like to show you that first before we uh, move on to the newer pieces in the collection. So this is the other piece that I've had for quite some time from the Galactic Village collection. It is of course the sail barge and it comes with a Leia there. Uh, we'll look at her in just a second, but just to look at the barge itself, it's a decent size actually, you know, for as these pieces go. And it's not a terrible paint job. It seems like it's a good sculpt. You don't really find a lot of sail barge related collectibles. So I do actually appreciate that they made this. It's on some sort of clear acrylic little feet to make it look like it's floating, which I also like. Uh, this also has a light up feature, which I'll show you in just a minute. But before we do that, let's go ahead and look at Leia here. She is quite small. I'll show you a close up in just a second, but uh, it is kind of cool that they made her more or less in scale with this Jabba. So you could even put her up on the throne like that and it wouldn't look strange at all. But yeah, the paint job on her is pretty tragic. So you can see, and to be fair, her head is actually considerably smaller than the head of a Q-tip or a cotton bud. So I don't want to be too critical of it, but it is not good. But you know, from a distance, as I say, uh, it actually looks decent. Like from, from where I'm see, seeing it, you know, maybe a foot away, I can't really see any major issues with the paint job. But if you do look at look at it closer like this, uh, <laughs> well, it's uh, it's not good. And once again, we'll look at the light up feature with my lights turned off for the most part. Uh, I'm gonna reach under here and flip the switch, see if you can see where it comes on. There it is. The only light up feature, or the only light that you can see, I guess I should say, is I guess the entrance down into the cell barge kind of lights up, but that's it. Might have been nice if some of these lit up, that would be cool, but uh, they didn't do that. So again, not really too impressed with that one. So as I said, these are the two that I've had for years. I went back and looked it up and I got the uh, palace in 2010. So basically 14 years ago, give or take. I'm not sure, it probably wasn't brand new at that point when I got it. So these have been around for quite some time. Uh, Bradford Exchange has been doing their Star Wars collectibles for many, many years. Uh, but for that whole time, basically since 2010, 2011, I think I got this one in, I hadn't heard about any other ones uh, that were related to Jabba. And I haven't had much luck finding an sort of online resource that lists all of the ones in the uh, series, uh, Bradford Exchange or you know Galactic Village themselves. They don't have any, as far as I can tell, any list of all the stuff that they uh, do have in their collection. I think that they just sort of keep it uh, mysterious on purpose. So I didn't know. But I did find on eBay uh, fairly recently several new ones in the Galactic Village collection, and that is sort of what spurred me to make this video. I wanted to show off some of the ones that I had gotten that are a little bit newer than these. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the first one is pretty much, I would say, a companion piece to the sail barge here, and it is none other than the Sarlacc Pit. Now, a uh, couple things you will notice about this. First of all, it has this uh, central, you know, kind of beaky thing that they added in the special edition of Return of the Jedi. I've never been a fan of this, personally, 
I always thought just having the giant gaping hole with the tentacles was more than scary enough. In fact, scarier than this, which is a little bit comical in places. But, you know, for better or worse, they've added that. Uh, one thing <laughs> was kind of interesting, though, is that if you look at it closely, it really reminds me, these, these little things on the signs in particular, of the uh, space slug, you know, that the uh, Millennium Falcon hid inside in Empire Strikes Back on the comet or uh, asteroid. I don't know if that is actually accurate, if this is, you know, like this detail here is supposed to be there, or if they just got a little creative, but uh, in any case, yeah, it's a decent sculpt for what it is, you know, it looks pretty good, it's got a nice paint job here uh, for the kind of deserty parts of the sculpt as well, and of course it's got Boba Fett here, if I can show you. He is trying to climb his way out of the Sarlacc pit. I don't know if this was, uh, you know, sort of post Book of Boba Fett. I don't know exactly when this came out, but I only got it a few months ago. Uh, the paint job on Boba Fett, not amazing, but it's not terrible either, honestly, for his uh, size. He's quite small. So, you know, compared to uh, Leia, I guess doesn't look quite as bad. Now these ones here, all the newer ones I'm going to be showing you, don't seem to have separate little figures like the ones that I showed you earlier. Now I would like to show you again the light-up feature. Uh, I will say that the newer ones are dramatically better in terms of the light-up features, generally speaking, but this one is easily the weakest of the ones I'm going to be showing you from now on. Uh, so, well, let's just go take a look at it. So, uh, once again, I'm going to show you the light-up feature here. One thing I discovered about this as I was trying to set this up is that uh, this actually takes AA batteries. Well, everything else in this collection that I have takes AAAs. A's. little strange. These newer pieces, instead of having a switch on the bottom, they have the switch on the back, which I appreciate because you don't want to have to always be turning them upside down to turn them on and off. So, once again, let's see if we can see where this lights up. <laughs> yeah. The Sarlacc has a light in its mouth for some reason, not really clear. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It looks a little cool in the dark when you see, you know, kind of light and dark, light and shadow. But uh, I don't fully understand the rationale behind that. So not super impressed with that, to be honest with you. The next piece is called Han Solo in Carbonite, and of course it is the section of Jabba's palace where Han was hanging up on the wall, and we have here in the foreground Leia as the bounty hunter come to try and rescue him. I would say the paint job on her is actually pretty decent for her the size, and you know, compared to some of the ones we've seen in the past, it's it's reasonably good. Uh, the paint on some of the other parts is not amazing, uh, but I do appreciate that they have these little decorations, the pillow and the tables and stuff like that, which we don't see very often in uh, collectibles. And Han himself also looks pretty decent. Uh, the building also, honestly, the paint job here, they've done a good job. It seems like they actually tried. <laughs> they have like airbrush and a wash of some kind. Uh, even the roof here looks nicely done. So I'm pretty happy with this overall, but my favorite Part of it is actually the light-up feature, which I wouldn't have expected, you know, based on what I saw in the previous three pieces I just showed you. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights here. Look at that! I think this is extremely cool looking. They've actually got six different LEDs, three in the bottom, three in the top, I believe. Uh, the ones in the bottom are red, the ones in the top are uh, blue and they combine to really make a cool effect. They've they've placed them and kind of angled them in a way that actually you know seems intentional. Like they have one that's shining right on her and one in the middle, and they and they also kind of combine here on these parts here and on Han to look really cool. Uh, just really impressed with this. Uh, maybe it's because the other ones were so unimpressive, but I do think this is a very cool light up effect and definitely the best one that I've seen in this series. The final one that I'm going to be showing you today is the Rancor Pit, and as far as I know, this is the last of the Jabba-related ones from the 
uh, Hawthorne Village slash uh, Galactic Village collection, but there could be ones that I am not aware of, and if you do know of other ones, please do let me know in the comments. It is pretty impressive looking, honestly. Uh, the sculpt is not bad. I like that they have sort of this whole environment, and it, of course, shows Luke fighting off the Rancor with a bone. Uh, the Rancor itself doesn't look too bad. His tongue, I don't know if you can tell, is quite pink. That seems a little weird. But the sculpt is, is pretty decent. Uh, they have this whole thing, you know, as a self-contained sort of room, as they like to do. Um, the paintwork, especially on Luke and these bones here, could definitely use a little work. Luke's face is laughably bad. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and put in a little... Uh, a little photo here for you to get an idea, but other than that, if you look at it from a decent distance, I would say this is a pretty good piece, and it's a nice companion piece to the ones that I've just shown you. Uh, I would like to show you the light-up feature as well, although I should also mention it's got a real metal chain here, which I thought is pretty cool. So we'll finally look at the light-up feature of the Rancor Pit as well. Now I will say, on this one, it seems like one of my LEDs is not working correctly. But, even so, you can see it actually does look pretty cool. It's got two yellow LEDs in the back, and they light up kind of, you know, strategically, again, parts of it to make it look more dramatic looking. I, I really do think it looks pretty good, depending on the lighting in the room and so forth. If this was in a fully lit room, it wouldn't look so great. The one here in the center, for whatever reason, does not light up on mine. I don't know if that would have been the same color. I, it's a little too bad, but again, of course, I got this on the secondary market, so I can't complain too much. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think they've stepped up their game with the LEDs for sure. So, in conclusion, I'm actually quite happy with these, especially given the price that I paid for most of them. They're not high-end collectibles at all, and if you look at them too closely, you're going to have a, <laughs> a bad day. I mean, they're just not, they don't stand up to that kind of scrutiny, but uh, they are things that portray, uh, you know, scenes or items that you really don't get statues made of otherwise. I mean, good luck finding a Jabba's Palace statue or one of the rank or pit in this exact way, you know, that has sort of an environment. That's actually uh, a pretty rare thing. The Sarlacc Pit is the same, uh, Sail Barge as well. So all of these things are actually, you know, pretty unique as collectibles and uh, definitely worth checking out. I would not really recommend joining the, you know, subscription service, because you're going to, unless you just love these and you want all of them, including <laughs> who knows what, you know, there's like 20 or 30 or more of just the Star Wars ones. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would recommend getting them on eBay like I did. It does take a while. You might be waiting for months, possibly, before you get uh, a particular one that you want, but uh, it's probably worth doing it that way rather than actually trying to sign up and then waiting, <laughs> again, months uh, to, to get a specific one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I am interested to know if anyone has joined these kinds of uh, clubs in the past, or, you know, if you are thinking about picking up any of these on the secondary market like I did. See you later. This video was brought to you with the help of my Patreon supporters, including Angelica Brady, Jesper Murtu, and these Palace VIPs you see on your screen right now. If you'd like to help support the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can click the link in the video description.